Hi, I'm Adrienne Bourgeois, and this is The Point. A quick look into current happenings within St. Charles Parish government and why they're important to you, the resident. You may think you're already informed. You may get our emails, follow us on social media, or even frequent our website. But with all that information coming your way, it can be hard to determine what things are important to you and why. So here's the point. The grants office secured a fully funded multi-million dollar grant from the Coastal Protection and Restoration Authority, also known as CPRA, for the construction of the Magnolia Ridge Levee and Roadway Improvement Project. The funding came from the state of Louisiana's Gulf of Mexico Energy Security Act allocation. This project is part of the Upper Barataria Risk Reduction System Improvement, and the project includes earthen levee improvements, installation of a roadway, and canal shaping along a 2.5-mile segment in the Magnolia Ridge phase of the West Bank Hurricane Protection Levee. Construction begins this summer and is expected to be completed soon. The point? The parish is still actively working towards securing levee protection for the West Bank. Once the levee is complete, residents will have nearly a nine mile stretch of hurricane protection throughout the West Bank, which will allow the parish to work towards securing a hundred year flood protection for all of our residents. July 3rd is right around the corner, and for the 29th consecutive year, St. Charles Parish will celebrate its annual Independence Day event with a performance by Groovy 7 from 6 to 9 p.m. July 3rd at the West Bank Bridge Park in Luling. During the event, residents can purchase food and drink items sold by local nonprofits. All proceeds go towards helping the nonprofits. There will be balloons, activities for the kids, and most importantly, fireworks. The show begins at 9 p.m. The point? Come out and enjoy Independence Day with us. Good food, great music, and a beautiful fireworks show. Also in July, many members of the administration, along with members of the Parish Council, will be attending the 84th National Association of Counties Annual Conference in Clark County. The NACO Annual Conference is the largest meeting of county elected and appointed officials from across the country. Participants from the counties of all sizes come together to shape federal policy. They share proven practices and they strengthen knowledge networks to help improve residents' lives and the efficiency of county government. The point? This event allows your local government an opportunity to talk to federal delegation as well as network with other county members about the issues that matter to you. Now's the time to reach out and express to them what items you would like them to put on the federal policy agenda and find possible solutions for. Thank you for tuning in and getting your parish news in 10 minutes or less. Until next time, stay connected by visiting our website at stcharlesparish-la.gov or follow us on social media. For The Point, I'm Adrian Bourgeois.